You are watching Blessing Today Legacy Talks. Welcome to the Blessing Today Legacy Talks. In this series, I want to talk to you about seeing it well. What God says about seeing it. And uh, for a biblical reference, I want to look at Jeremiah chapter 1, where God is showing something to Jeremiah and says, Jeremiah, what do you see? And Jeremiah instantly replies and says, God, I see the branch of an almond tree. Now, this is a very ironic question. Why does God have to ask Jeremiah, what do you see? Does God not know what he is showing Jeremiah? But Jeremiah gives an apt answer. He says, I see the branch of an almond tree. And God replies, you have seen it well. I'm going to fulfill the word that I have spoken to you in the earlier verses. In, in chapter 1, verse 6 onwards, God speaks to Jeremiah and says, I have set you over nations. I've ordained you as a, uh, as a prophet. And now after Jeremiah sees it well, God says, I am going to fulfill my word over your life. When does God's word over our life come to fulfillment. When those, those things that God has spoken to us come to pass, it comes to pass when we see it well. My question to you this morning is, do you see it well? What do you see? What do you see this morning? What do you see today? What do you see for tomorrow? Do you see it well? When Jeremiah sees it well, God begins to fulfill what God had promised over his life. When you begin to see what God is showing you, when you begin to see it well, every promise that God has over your life will come to pass. You might be saying, there are so many promises over my life. There, must so, there are so many prophetic words over my life. Let me tell you, it will come to pass when you begin to see it well. Can you see yourself the way God sees you? All those prophetic words, all those things that God has shown you, all those things that God has spoken to you, can you see it the way God has shown you? Can you see it the way God sees you today? In Mark chapter 10, we see Jesus asking that blind man, blind man, what can I do for you? And that blind man replies instantly. He says, Rabbi, I want to see. I, when I read that passage, I sometimes feel that this was the first time that that's, this man is ask, replying something like this. For all his life, every time somebody asked him, what can I do for you? The same answer, give me some money, give me some coins. But today, his answer has changed. He did not say, Jesus, give me some money or give me some property or give me this or that. But he says, Rabbi, I want to see. Because the blind man knew that when his eyes are open, everything is going to be different for him. When his eyes are open, he is going to see Jesus. When his eyes are open, he is going to see the face of the Son of God. And he, when his eyes are open, every other thing is going to fall into place for him. He, that is why he says, I want to see. Can you ask God today that I want to see? Now in the next example, 2 Kings chapter 6, the servant of Elisha, he gets up in the morning. He goes to the door, he looks out and he says, Master, we are in big trouble. There's a huge army that surrounded us and we are going to be captured in the next couple of minutes. We are going to die because of you. Even I will be killed. I will be carried away as a captive and this is going to be the end of our lives. What does Elisha reply? Elisha does not tremble. He does not fear. He does not get, get frustrated. What he says is, those who are with us are more than those who are against us. The servant of Elisha must be confused. He says, we are two people here in this room right now and you are telling me that we are more than those who are outside. What is the reason why Elisha says that those who are with us are more? It is because Elisha sees things differently. Now he prays for his servant and he says, Lord, open the eyes of my servant. As soon as he prayed, the eyes of the servant was opened and he begins to think, see things differently. Now he says, I don't see an army. I don't see the Syrians. I don't see people coming to capture me. But what I see this today is a huge heavenly host standing for us. Now he says, I see chariots standing for us. We have been surrounded and protected by heaven itself. We have been surrounded and protected by the angels of the Lord. Now, how did his vision change? 
earlier a few minutes ago he saw death he saw destruction he saw slavery he saw that he being himself being carried away by the Syrians but immediately when his eyes are open his everything has changed how did everything change because he has begin to see things the way God is showing it to him when you begin to see things the way God is showing you everything will begin to change you will not see the enemy you will not see people coming to capture you you will not see people coming to to destroy you you will not see destruction you will no, not see emptiness you will not see failures but you will see heaven open for you you will begin to see that you are there is a heavenly host surrounding you you will see begin to see heavenly protection around you when you begin to see it well let me ask you this question what do you see today do you see failures around you do you see the enemy around you do you see destruction around you do you see no destiny before you do you see everything failing before you and falling apart before you or do you see heavens open for you do you see heavenly angels ministering to you or do you see angels surrounding you do you see heavenly host protecting you do you see the chariots of fire around you protecting you and leading you when your vision begins to change when you begin to see it well everything about your life will begin to change let me encourage you begin to see it well and that will be the beginning of a new life that will be the beginning of your movement that you are going to have see it well join us next week for a new episode of blessing today legacy talks subscribe to damian anthony youtube channel right now